Hello and welcome back, as always my name is Lazar and today we're back in Heroes of the Storm with Zera Tool because I want to enjoy Cloakers while they're actual Cloakers, yes. Soon, very soon we will get a major league update from Blizzard Entertainment that will basically destroy Cloakers, as in the sense as we knew them up until this point, you know, actual invisible or somewhat invisible targets. So for this reason, we're gonna play a little bit of Zera Tool today. I got the Abbey hat so I'm not gonna quit. Still not gonna quit. Oh, oh, the Q, the Q, no, the Q will not land and we did manage to pick up that kill thanks to Azmoran's Q ability there and we're gonna check damage. Sorry about the late start to the recording, boys. I thought I started recording but obviously I didn't so I have to re-go over everything I did. So, uh, I didn't play a lot on the PTR, only a couple of games with Zero Tool, read all of the changes to all of the cloakers. It is said that all of them are getting a rework from what I saw. They seemed slapped on together, not a lot of thought, not a lot of rhyme or reason from my humble point of view, given to those reworks, and honestly, cloakers are no longer cloak curse. so there's that. I don't know what will come, honestly, and I don't know if they fully intend to go through with these changes. Honestly, the only benefit to cloak if these changes go through is the fact that you are untargetable while you're in that uh, translucent state, because no mistake, they are visible very easily. There's no more cloak unless you actually stand still. As you may know, standing still in a MOBA is a very, very good idea. Not. Alright, let's see if we can get another lucky kill there. No, this guy's on full health. There's two people here. We're gonna pick up our next talent. We picked up Purple Blade and one at Combo Slash at the next level, of course. We're gonna Combo Slash this guy. Oh. Don't wanna take minion damage anymore, so we're gonna do this. I gotta, as long as I got Abby with me, I can go toe to toe with him with no problem. Later in the game, it's gonna be easier because of my ability burst, but right now, we're just gonna skedaddle over to the middle lane. Is everybody soaking like they should be? I don't know. Yeah, see, you can't see me. With the new Zeratul, you can't do this anymore. By the way, also, uh, and some because uh, some of the changes include the fact that towers, uh, as in Fortin keeps my bad, will have true sight, meaning that the, even if you are in that new cloaked, they will be able to spot you quite easily. There we go, we managed to pick up another kill, very nice, and I should really turn all of these in, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay, let's turn in 10, we got our blink in case anybody shows up. We're gonna keep an eye on stats, zero tool, the assassin, the real sneaky sneaky. No, I don't know if this is like best for the game, I'm sure the developers know what they're doing. One of their arguments during BlizzCon was the fact that you don't really see cloakers on a competitive level. I don't think this will fix that, on the contrary, but uh, what do I know? We're gonna pop a fountain really quick and once again I'm encouraging you guys to head on over to the PTR, give the new cloakers a try, well the old cloakers with reworks, and see what you think. By all means, by all intents and purposes, give Blizzard a piece of your mind. You like it, you don't like it, you know, just let them know. Forum, they do read this stuff, I know it may seem like they don't, but honestly they do try at least to listen to the community. So if you guys wanna like say, listen, I love what you're doing or I hate what you're doing, uh, then by all intents and purposes, you should never hold back. Let's pick up our next talent. Uh, we're gonna go with Slip into Shadow. This talent will be removed completely from Zeratul. Also, uh, we're gonna... One of his heroics will be removed and a brand new one will show up, which was kinda cool. Kinda cool, but I will miss Shadow Assault for sure. Oh shit, I missed that one. Okay, apparently there's a huge concentration of people we want to kill over here. Let's do a combo slash quick and get out before anything happens. Now we're gonna Vorpal Blade into him and kill him. Yeah, Major League Tricks, yes, Major League Tricks. Will we be able to do this after uh, the rework goes live? Well, Vorpal Blade will be part of his base kit, so that's cool. That's cool, and the new Heroic is cool too. It's not cool the fact that Shadow Assault gets removed, but yeah. Is that enough to kill you, baby? Nope, not enough to kill you. I was very hopeful there though. Alright, we did manage to turn in, so we're gonna rotate. You know what, I'm too low, so we're gonna go back. I just want the mana back. So, there we go. These guys should be fine. After all, we are under a... Web Weaver push on our side. So yeah, that's about it, what can I say? Disappointed from what I saw on the PTR when it comes to Cloaker. The idea of Cloaking is dead. That's what kind of bothers me, you know? But then again, if this is what the game needs... Ah. Sneaky sneaky super sneak mode however is dead, so there's that. Hey, maybe they won't go through with it, I don't know. Okay, I can't engage on them, yes I know, but... Ok, 
Can you kill him? No, I'll kill him and then jump out. Thank you. I got slip into shadow. Shouldn't have used the second stack, but yeah. Uh, once again, Vorpal Blade to finish off Philodon there. Exactly when he thought he was free. And when I saw that he does not have evasion on. Lucky W on Alexstrasza. No, alright. Uh, the Web Weavers didn't get much done. But then again, we are a full level in front. So there's that. Okay, let's go on the bottom lane. Also, by the way, the new camera on the PTR. Very interesting. Like I said before in my quick update video. Uh, it is harder to... Whatchamacallit. It's harder to be precise. Simply because all of your skill shots, all of your abilities are smaller, thinner, etc. Your targets are smaller as well. But that comes with the reward of more information. Because you get to see more of the map. And while you're wondering why no PTR videos. Oh, sorry guys, I really don't like what you're doing. And I don't plan on doing any PTR. Not for this one, at least. Managed to pick up another kill there. And we're gonna pick up Shadow Assault. We know it's gonna be gone, so there you go. Shadow Assault. One more. No. I'm gonna die. Oh, thank you! Oh, I love you, Abby. You're the best thing since fucking Ketchup, man. Who says Abby sucks, man? Abby's all awesome. Okay, we're gonna stay here. There's no way they can kill me right now. Okay, somebody's gonna come, isn't it? Yeah, but let me turn in these and then I'll go back. Thank you, Mr. Rumpel TV. Thank you very much, man. Here's some stats, here's some talents if you guys are interested. Alright, let's see how we doing. Level 9 to 11, doing pretty well. We got 27 turned in. The enemy team only needs 7, and they do have 46 in their position, so they could turn in right now. What we should do is watch out for the turning in locations. They also did manage to pick up their level 10, so they could cause a team fight right now. 10v10, well, 11 versus. Can't let him have it, boys. Cannot let him have it. Hello, Alex Straza. Reposition to her like this. Took a lot of damage there. Shadow Assault is still in play. Damn it. Uh, well, okay, we pushed him back. We didn't get to turn in and all that. So that's important. Oh my god, he's so low. If I could... Let me cloak, let me cloak. Ah, he's probably gonna be gone by the time I'm there. Yeah, pointless now. I'm still gonna scout a little. Uh-huh. Ah, that missed. And teleport. Oh, you're still not getting away, bro. Okay, that was sloppy, I'll admit it. But we still got it. And I got five kills from my team, so I'm very happy about that. But let's keep in mind that Abby did uh, facilitate those kills a little bit. And he also saved my heart, so props to Abby for that. Give him a thumbs up if he keeps that up. Uh, let's see, we got four. We need a... Let's uh, click the turning in location one. Maybe these guys will understand that we can get a web weaver push. And we're gonna pick up Talitha level 13. And it's gonna be Spell Shield. Spell Shield, Spell Shield, Mending Strikes. Spell Shield, Mending Strikes were really well with Shadow Assault. <laughs> this is Major League Sneak Mode. Oops, I fucked up that bling, but that's okay. I have another one, because slip into shadow. Ooh. Can you heal me? No? Okay, you can. Ah, oh, he ran away, the chicken shit! Come back and fight Azeraful! Ah, uh, no need to go back. Thank you very much, Regar, for that save. If it wasn't for you, buddy. If it wasn't for you, what would I have possibly done? Hmm. Oh shit, you saw me? You're so impressive. But on the other hand, <laughs> oh man, I love that tricking around with Zerto like that. And this is what I'm gonna miss, you know? The fact that I can approach my target without them having any fucking clue about it. Like now. You think this guy knows I'm here? Of course not, man. Of course he doesn't know. And all this jerking around won't be possible anymore. Not really, to be honest. Not really. Sure, you still have the blinks and all whatnot, and that would be cool, but can't sneak up on targets anymore. There were some voices in my own community that suggested that Blizzard did this so that the new players to the game won't get scared off so easily by cloakers. I think there's some merit to those claims, but I don't think that's why Blizzard did it. I mean, maybe it was part of the reason, but honestly, I think they're just doing what's best for the game. But I'm interested in seeing your guys' opinion on it. What do you guys think about the new cloaking system, if you can even call it a cloaking system? Do you like it? I want to see, like, one opinion that says, Yeah, man, this is awesome. I love what they're doing. Haven't seen one so far. Then again, I can't say I really looked that hard. So there's that. Okay, enemy team did manage to turn in. Now they will have their first set of web weavers. And we're gonna go to Zeroth. Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, wait. There's a fight on top. I should assist those guys, huh? Uh, 
There we go. Easy more gameplay every day and fucking Liming steals the kills, of course, of course. Ah, uh, why am I not surprised? Stupid mage. Do I at least have more than you? Yeah, you only got your steals from me. Of course I have more. Oh, oh, no, no decloak. No decloak. See, you can't see me, I'm here. You can't see me. I cannot be spotted. I cannot be spotted. All I need you guys to do is come close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on out. You gotta respond to this or you'll die. Uh, Master Warplay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, if I would have missed that W, probably would have gotten a kill there. Cloaked, please, please, please. There we go, cloaked. We gotta run, Rhaegar, run, baby. Come on! Oh, damn it. Pick up that. There we go. I could have gone in, but I fear I would have died without being able to save him. You know? I mean, if I die, let it be for something, right? Doop, 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 doop. Okay, we're gonna back away from that bad situation as Li Ming stays on bottom. We still have the uh, level advantage, 16 to 14, and not only the level, but obviously also the talent advantage. Level f okay, we good? Nobody here, right? Yeah. Nobody here to stop me? Atta boy. Atta boy. Clock, 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 clock. Damn it. Didn't get a cloak in time. I should have moved away, but I I was already thinking I gotta stand still to get my full cloak on, you know. He's gonna die. Why are we keep we keep getting caught out like all by ourselves, you know, like keep getting picked off for no reason. That's weird. Okay, let's back off from this. This can turn ugly really quick. Okay, we got Rhaegar in play. Still got talent advantage. That's good. I wanna take a fight, but I don't see everybody else. I'm looking for the flank, I don't have any E, so there's that to take into account before being overly- What? Yeah, if I knew you would've gave me an Abbey Hab, I would've probably stayed in a little bit longer. But unfortunately, the rest of our team is nowhere to be seen. So there's that. Thank you. Thank you for that heal. 15 to 17, we should really take a fight. Okay, you missed. Okay, they caught on to me, Damn it! They caught on to me. They know I'm doing what I'm doing. So I guess we could go for this. Nope, again, the enemy team is better positioned than we are for a fight every time. Oh, but this time, this guy is out of position. Oh god. Oh yeah, it landed. Fire in the hole though, so careful. Alex Raza should be dead, combo slash onto her. I don't have my, I do have my. Blink out. I was too slow, they couldn't get in position, so that sucked. Oh god, why? Okay, he's dead. Combo slash, <laughs> no, damn it, they stole it from me. Why'd you steal it from me? We could go boss. No, we don't want to go boss. You can't see me, I cannot be spotted, man. Cool. It's cool, come back in, man, I'm not here, seriously. <laughs> damn it. If I would engage that tower, it would have fired on me, so that's why I didn't. Uh, I guess we could turn in. Start boss? You don't want to start boss. Alright, fine. Eight, that's good. Hey, fat, so don't you want to turn it? Oh, don't need to? Okay, yes. <laughs> Time to scout for the team. I see the Abbey Head likes to stay with me. That's good for me. I don't know how good it is for him, though. Oh my god, what the fuck did I just do yet? What? Nope! Damn it! If I kill you, I kill you! Now I'm dead, I know. But I felt like I really needed to get that kill in order to avenge what I failed. Oh my god! Double kill! Yes, Worf! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, plan for that to happen, man. So I know. It's two for one, still Worf. What? <laughs> we also got a web weaver push, and the enemy team doesn't have two to defend, so that's good. That's a free. Free kills there. The Ming managed to pick up another kill, and the enemy team. Oh, they got a respawn already, or did I see that one? Ah, I don't know. It's way too early to watch out for these things anyway. Full push on top and full push on bottom. Here's some stats. Pretty good amount of damage. Asmodan is doing more and Asmodan will be MVP because he died less. And he's got more XP. And he basically probably carried. 
Okay, the bottom uh, push and the top push are uncontested. Everybody's focused around middle because that's the easiest thing to do, not necessarily the best. If they would have taken like a couple of seconds to clear bottom and top, they wouldn't lose all of their keeps. Okay, you see Junkrat there. Very well done. Managed to defend the top one, but that the cost of middle and bottom is gonna fall as well as we pick up our level 20, which is gonna be Narazim Fury. I think this is the new name of the new heroic. I think, if I remember correctly. It's a very interesting heroic ability, definitely. But I would have preferred Shadow Salt to still stay in the game. Then again, Void Prism is absolutely awesome. You know, the setup from Void Prism. I mean, if I were... Why couldn't he have free heroics then, Blizz, huh? What would have been the problem with free heroic abilities? There's an idea. There's no hero with... Wait, there's variant with free heroic abilities. But one of them is passive. Can you actually call it a heroic ability? Go for boss with all of them up? Alright, alright, you guys. I'll, I'll play with the team. Not a problem. I'll play with the team. The build I normally use for Zeratul is not exactly meta, and I know he's not exactly played this well, but to be honest with you guys, I stopped caring about the meta about a year ago. I still do the meta builds because I know you guys are interested in them, but I still just prefer to play whatever feels right to me, whatever I have fun with, and I encourage you to do the exact same. Thank you for that. Keltuzad helped us out a little bit. The enemy team did not contest in the end, and we did manage to pick up a boss, which should finish the game. Now, a good tactic right now would be to, like, engage somewhere which is not top lane, to keep them busy, to keep them off the top lane so the boss can get as much work done as possible. This is a tactic. Anybody here? No, nobody. I thought I would surprise them, you know? Major League surprise, bitch. <laughs> Major League surprise, bitch. Yeah. What the f- <laughs> Ming! Damn it, Ming. You cannot outrun me. You cannot outrun me! I cannot be outrun, you stupid fucking chicken! DIE! <laughs> and that will no longer be possible because... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, Shadow Assault will be gone. Can you blame me that I'm sad about it? Can you really blame me that I'm sad about it? I'm sad about it. Why did I have to take away Shadow Assault? Isn't it bad enough they ruin Cloakers forever? How am I gonna sneak up on Scrubs and wreck them? It's okay, Blizzard. It's okay for them to, like, be angry when they first start a MOBA. Everybody's angry when they first start a MOBA. No need to hold their hand. They're fine. Trust me, they're big boys. Anyway, BS aside, I have enjoyed Zeratul greatly up until this point. I don't know if I will after the rework. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy the content, if you like what you're seeing, why not hit that subscribe button. If you got any feedback for me, please let it in the comment section down below. I would be more than happy to read it. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow.